Friends, now we'll take a small quiz so that our understanding about definitions is clear. We know who said what, which person gave which definition. We'll try to match the definition with the person who gave it. In the first column, we have Lionel Robbins, Alfred Marshall, Adam Smith, Paul Samuelson, and in the second column, we have wealth definition, choice making definition, dynamic growth definition, and welfare definition. Now we just need to match them as to Lionel Robbins gave which definition, and Alfred Marshall gave which definition, Adam Smith gave which definition, and Paul Samuelson gave which definition. I'll give you 30 seconds to solve this. Please stop this video here. Started after 30 seconds. Yes. Now, Lionel Robbins gave which definition? Please remember that his definition is one of the most recognized definitions of economy. Which definition did he give? It was the choice making definition. He said economics is a study about man, which in relation to unlimited wants and limited means and how you strike a balance between them, how you make choices about which want you want to fulfill and which want you want to forego. Alfred Marshall, he gave the definition about welfare. He gave the welfare definition. Adam Smith, he is the father of economics. He was the first person to define economics and how did he define it? Wealth. He was the first person to define economics as a science of wealth. And finally, Paul Samuelson gave you a definition of economics as a science of dynamic growth and development. Let's see the answer. Next question. Again, we have a match, of, match the following, but this time we've given you the definitions. Try to match the definitions with the person who gave them. I'll give you a minute for this. Pause your video here. Start it after a minute. Let's answer. Jacob Weiner. Which definition did he give? He said, he gave the simplest definition that you could get in economics. He told you, economics is, economics is what? Economics do. Pigu, remember Pigu gave you the measuring rod of money definition. Measuring rod of money definition. Adam Smith, an inquiry into the causes and nature of wealth of nation. Paul Samuelson, Paul Samuelson gave you the growth and development definition. Lionel Robbins, choice making definition. Already say, economics is a science. It studies human behavior as a relationship between ends and scarce needs which have alternative uses. And finally, Marshall gave you the welfare definition. Economics examines that part of individual and social action which is most closely connected with the attainment and use of material requisites for well-being. Let's check our answers. Okay, these are the answers. Let's try to solve a couple of MCQs. Economics is the study of mankind in the ordinary business of life was given by A. Adam Smith B. Lord Robinson, C. Alfred Marshall, D. Samuelson. Who gave this definition? It was Marshall. He said economics is the study of mankind. Adam Smith said economics is the study of wealth. He brought the focus towards it being as a study of mankind. Let's check. That's the answer. According to Robbins, means are 
A scarce, B unlimited, C undefined, D all of these. How do we define means? We define means as scarce. Let's take the answer. It's scarce. Next, who defines economics in terms of dynamic growth and development? Who said economics is a science of dynamic growth and development? It was Paul Samuelson. Next, which of the following statements is incorrect? A. Alfred Marshall propagated the wealth definition of economics. Lionel Robbins introduced the scarcity definition of economics. C. Samuelson emphasized upon the growth aspect of economics. D. Pigou believed in welfare aspect of economics. Which of the lines is incorrect? Alfred Marshall gave which definition? Correct. He gave the welfare definition. So, the first line that Alfred Marshall propagated the wealth definition of economics is incorrect. Let's check our answer. That's the answer. Next, economics is a science of choice making. This implies no choices to be made. Second, choices to be made between alternative uses. Third, Choices to be made between means and ends. D. None of the above. Now, why does the problem of choice making come? Does it come because the resources are scarce and the wants are unlimited? Or it comes because the uses of those scarce resources are many. Multiple uses of those scarce resources. Yes, correct. It's because the choice to be made between alternative uses. Next, economics is neutral between ends. This statement was given by, now please try to understand this statement. Economics is neutral between ends. This statement says it is neutral. Now what does this word neutral mean? What is the meaning of the word neutral here? It means the ends are independent it does not uh, they are not affected by which resource you satisfy them so who said that economics is a science of ends and means it was professor lionel robin let's check our answer professor lionel robin so this completes our segment on economics definitions so all those who have answered these questions correctly have earned a thumbs up from myself.